Praise God, brethren. Praise the Lord, Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the opportunity to have come in brokenness before you in this prayer vigil. 24 hours of prayer chain nonstop before the throne of glory. We trust that you have turned your ear towards our prayers, towards our cries, towards our tears during this time, our Lord Jesus Christ. We have come to you only, Lord Yeshua, only to you, trusting in you only for what we pray, for our protection, and most importantly, for our salvation. For there is salvation in no other name under heaven. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Yeshua. Thank you for listening to your children, for keeping them in the cleft of your hand, for protecting them under the shadow of the Almighty. We ask the Lord in humbleness, in humility, in brokenness, that your Holy Spirit keeps guiding us and maintains this spirit of brokenness in us so that we may keep interceding and bringing other souls to you other names, Lord, so that your Holy Spirit can lead them to Jesus Christ and to eternal life. Please hear our prayer, Lord. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Please cover everybody that has turned to you, Lord. Cover them in your precious blood. Protect them. Protect their ways, protect their words their actions, their paths. We are all trusting you, Lord. We are trusting your promises. We are trusting what you did for us in Calvary 2,000 years ago to deliver us from the wages of sin and to give us eternal life, Lord Jesus. Thank you. May your name be praised forever and ever. Holy Holy, holy God. Amen, brethren. Thank you so much for having taken a stand, for having made the commitment to come before the Lord during these 24 hours. We have received testimonies of how the Lord has moved during these 24 hours. If you have any please, please send them to us. We would really like to share them with the brethren. The Lord has listened to our prayers and he will continue to do so, brethren. Please, please keep praying. This is not just a prayer for the 24 hours that just passed. This is a prayer that has to be continually in our hearts, in our spirits, in our lips. Those points that we prayed for during these past 24 hours, we have to keep praying for them every day, every day, brethren. We live in an ever increasing world where evil just runs amok. And we, the children of Jesus Christ are still the salt of the earth and the light of this world. Let us not forget that. Our prayers can make a difference. Our prayers can change the Lord's heart about certain things, about who he brings to Jesus Christ, about his protection about the severity of his judgment. The Lord is kind-hearted, brethren. He loves to see his children in obedience, in humility before him, recognizing him 
as the supreme being, God, king of the universe, and submitting to his will. He loves us. And he wants us to be his and to remain his through our Lord Jesus Christ in, in obedience, seeking holiness, seeking his spirit to work through us whatever spots or blemishes we may still have before the Father. Only the Lord Jesus Spirit can do that. Only the Holy Spirit can change our hearts and present us worthy through the blood of the Lamb before the Father. Thank you again. Thank you for your commitment. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your efforts. May we continue on this path until the Lord calls us home. Bless you, brethren. Amen.